This is Chris Kell with your Peak Fitness Toe Touch Test. The Toe Touch Test tells us whether or not our clients can hinge from their hips appropriately as well as uh, the length of the posterior chain. So if we're limited in this movement, we oftentimes have restrictions of the calves, the hamstrings, and all the muscles that run up the back side of our body. All right? Now with this, what I'm going to ask Andrew to do is simply put his feet together, Okay, keep his legs locked out. Now uh, what I want you to do is bend it down and touch your toes. Come back up. See that one more time. Okay, and as you can see, Andrew would get a three on that. There's no reason to look any further. Okay, and he's, he, he moved well from his hips, but if he didn't, and let's show everybody from the side just they, so they can see that. Feet together, keep your knees locked out. All right, go ahead and touch. You can see that, come back up. As Andrew comes back, do it again. He has a nice hip hinge. His hips are moving backwards again, and he's, he's kind of bending from his waist and then his spine is moving as well. Oftentimes what we see is when people come down and they lack hip mobility, they kind of stop here and they have to excessively round from the back, but they just kind of stop, all right? So if that wasn't the case with Andrew, but if it were, if you were not able to get down all the way, we would start by kind of looking at a couple things that may be wrong. So we're gonna look at each hip first, and what I would ask Andrew to do is just put his foot, one foot up on a small step or block. Now you can keep this leg bent. What I want you to do on the other side, keeping this leg straight, you're going to reach down and touch your toes just on that one side, okay? So let's go ahead and see that. All right, this leg, this outside leg stays straight, this leg stays bent. Go ahead. Good. All right, come on. Okay, let's just look at the other side real quick here. Excellent. Go ahead. Good. Very nice. Okay, this allows us to look at each hip side to side to see if there's a problem on one side versus the other. All right, if, if this, if we... If this were, if you weren't able to get down, the next thing we, we would do is that we would kind of look at more fundamental mobility, all right? We want to see if it's a mobility or stability problem. So we want to get him on his back and kind of look at this in a weightless scenario. Let's get you on your back. Okay, and with this, I'm usually, I'm going to take a dowel rod, right? I'm going to put the rod right about at its knees. What I'm going to ask him to do, flex your, flex your heels back towards me. Now, starting with your right leg, I want you to raise your right leg up as high as you can. Okay, what I'm looking for, come down, is I'm looking for two things. One, can he clear the dowel rod at all? And two, do we have compensation in the other leg? Okay, if we do, you're going to see a turning out of the foot or some movement from that other leg. So let's see that again. Good. All right, he, we see a little bit of that, but when the, when the leg starts to rise or turn out, that means that we're getting mobility from somewhere else, okay? So that tells me that that might be, you know, a stability problem, I don't know, but that gives us an idea of maybe which hip is performing better or not. Let's look at the other side real quick here. Go ahead. Comparison from side to side. Good, give it a rest. And I'm going to score, I'm gonna look at each leg, um, I'm trying to score the up leg here, so let's raise it up again. Come down. Do the other side one more time. Come down. Give it a rest. Good. Excellent. And for this, I'm always making notes. Okay, if he can't touch his toes and, and yet he can go beyond the stick here, I'm still going to give him a two, but I'm going to make notes based upon that. You know, was he able to do it in this position versus the top position or versus the standing position, all right, where he had one leg up? Was mobility limited in one side versus the other? Uh, you know, if, if he can't do it at all, if he cannot clear the stick, you know, we, we see something like this where he can only come to here, then he's getting a one on, on either both sides or just one side. So again, I'm, I'm gonna make notes on what I found and then that'll lead me to some ideas about how we might potentially deal with that.